everyone, Mr. Merkic here, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own URL shortener API, and then I'm going to show you how to use the API in a Visual Basic form uh, in order to get the response from your API to the program, if you want it in program form. But again, you can use it in web form as well. Um, it's not too difficult. Um, so we are going to be using PHP for this, as as well as Visual Basic for the program side of things, but that's not really important for this video, it's mainly the API. Um, so we're going to be using PHP, so let's get straight in with this. Uh, what we're going to do is just start off the file, and I'm going to go ahead and save it like I usually do. And I'll just call that uh, shorten. And then we'll save that as a PHP file. And then there's a couple things we want to get from the actual URL itself. Uh, parameters we want the URL which we want to shorten we'll call that URL and that's going to be equal to um, get and we want to get the we'll call it URL and we also want we're going to have multiple <coughs> options so let's say we got an ad fly or you want an ad fly link you want a Google link you want the shortest link um, the options are endless you can add as many as you want within your API I'm just going to show you how to do two or three in this video um, so we'll, we'll create another one called site and that will also be equal to get and we'll call that site as well and then that's just going to enable us to type in what site we want to get in this case in that request and you'll see what I mean by that uh, in a second so we just want to have two basic if checks and check if these two are blank because if they are blank we don't want to go ahead and do or send the request and do whatever we want to do so we're just going to just check if they are blank or not. So we can just say if site is equal to nothing, then what we want to do is just send a little message out onto the page saying, please uh, enter a site to use. I guess that will do. And then else, if there is something, we just want to go ahead and check if the URL contains something because they both need to at the same time. So we can just say if URL is equal to uh, nothing then again we just want to print something and we'll just say uh, please enter a URL to shorten I guess that will do and then uh, else if if both of them contain something then I guess we want to carry on doing what we want to do and in that case we'll just want to be checking what site they want to use so we can just say if site again we're using site if it is equal to this time we can give it names now so let's call it if the site is equal to Google then we want to call a function called uh, create Google and then we need to give it a parameter which will be the URL uh, which we got here because this URL is the one we want to shorten the one there and put the long URL so we will create Google if they enter Google uh, else if site uh, is equal to let's say ad fly then we'll create an ad fly create uh, ad fly and again we'll give that the URL parameter like so and then I guess that'll be the two and we at the end we can just say else and then that basically means if they entered something in site that isn't Google or ad fly then obviously it was a site that we don't want to use and we can just say uh, it's an invalid site just so people can't mess around with it and do things they're not really meant to. Again, but if you wanted to add more sites, you'll just create a further else if here and add whatever name you wanted it to be. So that'll be the basics of that. Now what we need to do is go ahead and create these two functions. So if we come outside of the main if check and we'll create uh, add fly first, create add fly and we'll just put you inside there and we'll, we'll be able to reference that within here. Uh, what we want to do is uh, we'll call it link is equal to file underscore uh, get underscore contents and what that will do is go to a website, you see I've got a notepad here um, this is my AdFly API key so you you will need some sort of AdFly API key. If you go over to their website in the developer section, you can get one for yourself. It's it's free, of course. Um, every site has a free 
API keys for their service. Again, I've just got here the Google code because it's pretty lengthy and I don't really want to be typing it out. But that's for the Google one. Um, you can see the API is here, but and my key is here. So all of them will require some sort of key. You could even add a key to our API, which we're creating, but we don't really need that. Um, so yeah, what you want to do is just go over to AdFly, get your key, and copy it like so. And what you want to do is cut it off where it says URL is equals, because we're going to add our URL into the end. So we want to get file, get contents, our link, and then we want to add on to the end of it. In this case, is you because you see that we're we're giving the function the u value, which is our URL. So that's going to complete our link for us. And once it's done that, all we want to do is just echo uh, the link, and that's basically going to print. You'll see if I redirect that. You'll, you'll see what I mean in a second. So now let's quickly create the Google one. We can call that you as well. And then I'm going to get this code from here. Now, because it is pretty lengthy, and you probably don't want to type all that out either, I will leave this bit of the code in the description for you. Uh, there is a couple things you'll need to change though. Uh, let me just tab that in. So, all you'll need to do is go to developer.google.com and again get your API key from Google. Uh, I don't really mind if you use mine, but uh, because I don't use these personally, I've created these API keys for this video, but I might shut them down at some point if they get overused, so it's probably best to make your own. Uh, so again, if you do get your own key, just paste it here and the rest of the code will be fine. And what that's doing is using curl or curl, whatever your preference is, um, and it's getting the array with the JSON or JSON. Um, and it's just the code in it and what it's doing actually you'll see what I mean by this because it's going to return a couple things I'll leave it for that now to show you anyway and I'll edit that in a second so that this uh, file here should be fine so we can go ahead and upload it onto a server I'll just upload it onto my test one so let me just go ahead and find it my desktop should be called shorten there we go if we upload that now what we want to do is relocate to that file I have it on storefront.holes and then it will be shorten.php and we've got uh, site is equal to we'll just do google for now and then and the url it will be as a test www.google.com and we'll press enter and it's taking its time just stop that so what we got we got an error uh, line 34 so let's see what we got ah uh, silly mistake by me I didn't even add the function create add fly there we go, we should be, so you're meant to call those, there are functions, so we need to actually put the functions, that's a silly mistake by me. Let's just go ahead and uh, re-upload that. If we refresh that now, you can see uh, there was an error of some kind. The array did get an error, for Google anyway at least. Uh, what is the error? Uh, so what it is is we have URL here this is the URL and because we called it you uh, we just need to go ahead and call that you so again that is because I copied it in that's why I got a couple errors there so if we re-upload that again sorry about that let's go ahead and re-upload it we should now see what we got so this is the array which it's going to return and you see this is our shortened link this is the URL we shortened 
and then this is the uh, thing we did, the URL shortener. So what we actually all, we only want to print the short URL. So if we go back into our code, you see we're printing the result, which is decoding the uh, JSON array. We just want to take the ID one from it because ID it contains uh, our short link. So if we go ahead and save that now with the ID one there, re-upload that again. Now you should see we should just get our shortened link, and there we are. Uh, so now let's go ahead and we'll change Google to AdFly and see we should now get an AdFly link. So there you go, We've got an AdFly link. And just to show you that this does actually work, I'll read, uh, I'll locate to that link. Uh, we will have to probably wait five seconds. Um, or more, seeming as this isn't even working. So we'll just leave that to do whatever that's got to do for a second. And we can just check if we entered a site other than the two we put in. We should just get invalid site. So that's what we really want. And again, this link has started working. So let's quickly get off that. And you see I've gone to my site. And I made that through this API. So now we've got the API, we can just go into the program. Now I'm not going to spend ages in here because this is the video wasn't really about this part but it's fairly simple if you wanted a program version you have a button and be called uh, shorten URL and we'll make that bigger you'll get uh, a text box that will be where the URL goes and what because we got options uh, we could get a well we could have a couple of things actually we could either get checkboxes or we could get if I can find it a combo box and that will contain the options so if we just edit that and add some options in we'll have Google and we'll have AdFly because that is the only two we have for now press OK uh, we'll just put that up there like so. What we could do is have one more text box which will contain the output which they can copy from. So we just make that smaller. So we go into the shorten URL button. Uh, we'll create a, a dim w client as new system dot net dot web client because that we're going to be using that to get the request or send the request. And we just want to check if textbox one dot text is equal to nothing, then message box dot show. Please enter a URL. Else, what we want to do is just say dim response as a string is equal to wclient.download string and we want to download the string from our API so if we copy that uh, remember this domain will be your one uh, you, again I guess people would use this but I will remove it so probably best to do your own you put your string there remove it up to the URL and you want to come outside the string and say plus textbox1.text now after that you would just want to say text box 2.text is going to be equal to a response like so uh, again though we are just going to set that to Google for now and give that a quick test so we'll say www.google.com we don't have options yet we don't have code to select the option but if we press shorten you'll see that this box here now contains a shortened URL which will take me to google.com so that's that working all we need to do now is put some code in to select options and I guess we can do that by just saying if combo box one dot selected item is equal to 
Google, then that, else, uh, if combo box one dot selected item, wherever that is, is equal to add fly, then whatever, then else message box dot show please enter a site so uh, I'm sorry if I'm going a bit fast I'm just this video is getting kind of long now so what we're going to do is just copy that code from there and we're going to put it in our if checks here so for Google we'll have that one and we'll just Google's there and then for AdFly we'll have that again we just need to change Google in our URL to AdFly and now let's give that a try hopefully I did that right it's been a long time since I coded here, so we'll just do google.com. Now we'll select Google, shorten. We got Google link, select AdFly. We've now got an AdFly link. So there we go, that's a basic shortener. So I've shown you how to make the API, which is the main thing, and then I've shown you how to put it into a program form like this. Uh, so again, you could make this program as neat as you like and add as many URL shorteners as you wish and you'll have a pretty neat URL shortener program. Uh, so I hope you learned something from the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time.